All right, you half answered this question when you came in the room. How difficult was it after 15 years to take a left instead of a right down the car? It was a little weird. I was almost hesitant to go right. I kind of leaned to the right, actually, and then I just have to remember I'm on the left. I'm on the visiting side this time. I'm sure you would have preferred to have this be the third or fourth game of the year as opposed to the 42nd game or whatever it is for you guys. How hard has it been to look forward to this or to, to know that this is on the horizon? Uh, it's been on your mind, especially since the turn of the new year. You knew it was going to happen. And it's just like, you know, at first you're like, man, uh, I wish it was a little earlier in the season just to get it over with. Uh, I know it's going to be very emotional, you know, just being a place you've been your whole life, uh, ups and downs. Uh, it's just, it's, it, I knew it was going to be difficult. And it's just finally, you know, even getting on the bus today, I felt like I was going to a funeral or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not going to be that. It's going to be very positive out there when you get introduced and when you play. Uh, but just to take you back a little bit, how hard was it for you to get your arms around the fact that you had actually been traded? Uh, it was very difficult. I mean, you, you got to understand, when you we're in one place for so long or been doing the same routine for so long, and, you know, it's always tough for change. Uh, it's just you just have to understand the business part about it, and I've always understood that because I've seen players come and go. <clears throat> As much as I would love, I love to be a, a Celtic. You know, at the end of the day, uh, it wasn't about uh, Paul Pierce. I understand it's always about the Celtic brand and, and what they're trying to accomplish moving forward. And so I think, you know, it, it became kind of a mutual thing to where, you know, they were going in one direction where me and KG would have loved to stay and try to make another run at it uh, in a Celtic uniform, but we understood that wasn't going to happen. And, uh you know, I, I guess uh, you realize when the writing's on the wall that uh, it's time to move on. Well, despite the business part, you'll always be a Celtic. You'll always be a Celtic. How much did it help to have Kevin along with you to make this transition? Oh, it helped tremendously. Just having a, a friend, a teammate uh, that you honor, respect, and a childhood friend uh, also to, to go through it with you. You know, I think... It would have been difficult for him also if, it, if I weren't there, you know. So it just makes the transition so much easier when you have a guy that you've been with uh, for so long. Was the trade the hardest thing that you've had to deal with in your career? Um, I think uh, definitely one of the hardest when you think up off the top. Mm -hmm. Just uh, knowing that I've always preached I want to be a Celtic for life, retire in a Celtic jersey, uh, mm -hmm. try to win another ring. Uh, it, it was very difficult. Do you envision finishing your playing career in uh, Brooklyn? Um, you know, the future is, is uh, you know, y'all really don't know too much about the future right now. You know, I don't know if this could be my last year. This is the last year on my contract. It's a possibility I played one or two years, but uh, who knows? Uh, right now, I haven't really gave it too much thought. I think it's something I'm going to sit down with my family after the season, see where we're at, and, and go from there. When you look down at the Celtic bench, the, the one guy you're going to see first is Rondo, now the captain of this team, taking over from you, uh, a captain in bad times. Uh, you know that experience. Have you talked to him about that? Well, yeah, definitely. Me and Rondo have, have, have mentioned it. Just, you know, it's going to be difficult at times. You have to be patient. You have to be a leader. Uh, you know, I had a chance to talk with him even last night. Uh, we all had dinner, uh, me, him, Kevin. And so, uh, you know, I think he understands that he, he, he knew uh, what was coming, uh, but it's his chance to show that he's a leader and he can grow with a team. Let's lighten this up a little bit. Tell me your favorite moment in Boston other than the championship. Uh, wow. Um, uh, my favorite moment. Uh, you know, I still have memories of sitting down on the couch my rookie year, sitting next to Red Harvack for like a good hour, uh, sharing stories, sharing stories with you and Tommy. Uh, Maxwell, uh, being with Johnny Joe, taking shots before the game. <laughs> Just so many great memories I have uh, from being here. You know, without betraying anything that's going on in Brooklyn right now, there, there was a great chemistry you guys had here in, in Boston. Do you miss that? Well, yeah. I mean, when you build something and it takes so long to build it, and then for it to all come down, it's like, you're a kid and you have your Legos and you build up this big old project and the dog comes and knocks it all down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you like you get sad and want to cry, but, uh, you know, we had a great chemistry here. We had a, a good culture here. And, uh, you know, sort of me and Kevin, that's what me and Kevin are trying to do in Brooklyn. Two quick final questions and I'll let you go because I know your pregame routine has been... Oh, it's, just, it's shot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's definitely shot tonight. Um, 
You've talked about coming back here to Boston and being part of the Celtic organization. In, in what capacity would you like, if you could, in a perfect world, would you like to come back? Um, you know, I'm not sure right now. I just know that I love the game. You want to take basketball. Tommy C? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't ever want to take Tommy C. He's one of the best ever. Um, you know, just I love being around the game of basketball. I feel like it, I can just give something back, whether it's in coaching or in the front office or in broadcasting or, or whatever. You know, I love. You know, the game, I want to do something that's uh, part of the game and bring my knowledge and expertise back, uh, no matter what it is. And if there's a place for me, I'll try to find my niche. But I, I think I'm pretty versatile in a lot of things in this business that I can find something to do. Final question. They're not going to give you a microphone tonight and give you a chance to address the crowd. <laughs> now, you. now, is your chance. <laughs> <laughs> now is your chance to address Celtic fans. What do you want to say to them? I just want to say I think the Celtic fans are the best fans in the world. You guys have supported me from day one through the bad and the good. I miss you guys. I love you guys, and I'll never forget you.